Hi, welcome. It's Milan with TuningIntoTheOne.com. And today we're going to go over some core values and beliefs resolutions that you can set up. I did this for the beginning of 2005. And the idea here is as we're going through the Soulmate Attraction Blueprint, and as we're looking to picture the ideal person that we're looking for, we want to work on ourselves. When we're working on ourselves, one of the things that we're working on is our vibe. Remember, dialing up your vibe in order to attract the right members of your tribe that you are aligned with in terms of your values, your identities, your beliefs, and your expectations. So as you're doing this, think of it this way. You want to pick one or two items that you may have on your tray of goodies that is like those things that you want most to work on when it comes down to your relationship. How do you do that? You almost create a vibe version of New Year's resolutions. And the idea here is to come up with rules for one or two of your biggest issues. So for me at the beginning of 2005, my biggest issues were practicing unconditional acceptance. And in order to practice unconditional acceptance, I had to work on my frustration and my anger. So I did. And the way I did that was by creating a sheet that basically put down my rules for frustration and my rules for anger and the opposite complement that I wanted to practice. So when it came down to frustration, the opposite complement quality that I wanted to practice was unconditional acceptance. And then I came up with a rule for frustration that I could remind myself of so that when I was doing it, I would remember the only time that I indulge and allow myself to feel frustration is if I consistently fail to heed my playful nature and my self-knowledge of my inner beauty and freedom in thoughts, emotions, and actions. Now, I, I know that sounds a bit woo-woo, but it works. What allowed me to say kind of like, okay, practice unconditional acceptance, unconditional acceptance, unconditional acceptance, unconditional acceptance. Then it was like my rule for frustration is to remember that I am allowing myself to indulge and feel frustrated if I forget about my playful nature and forget about my inner beauty and the freedom to choose my thoughts, my emotions, and my actions. So instead, I'm going to practice unconditional acceptance. And the same thing for practicing unconditional forgiveness. So my task was work on my frustration and work on my anger. And to start with, I wanted to practice unconditional acceptance instead of getting frustrated. And I wanted to practice unconditional forgiveness instead of getting angry. So the only time I would indulge in anger is when I forgot that I was free and powerful and forgot to feel that sense of forgiveness that comes from forgiving and that allows me to feel free and powerful by letting go. And then for some supportive statements, I came up with, I have everything I need to succeed. I have the money. I have the time. I have the resources. I have everything I need to succeed. I have the money, I have the time, I have the resources. And by using this, I have an abundance mindset. So in order to keep focusing on making this change, I had to decide, number one, I'm going to decide that I want to make a change. Number two, I'm going to do the work that's necessary to make the change happen. Number three, I'm going to take immediate action to make sure that I have safe and loving boundaries and I will focus 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 on what I want instead of what I don't want so I can imitate excellence and experiment and be curious and then create that supportive environment around me so I can enjoy and realize this isn't just work or a task that it is for my well-being to be able to be in a place of unconditional love unconditional acceptance and unconditional forgiveness and when I did this Guess what happened? That's right. I got into this amazing place in space. And if you'll notice on the wall behind me, always kiss me goodnight.
and always kiss me good morning too. Always kiss me good night and always kiss me good morning. In 2005, this allowed me to be able to go to a place and realize I didn't have to be frustrated. I didn't have to be angry. I just had to practice letting go of frustration and going into unconditional acceptance, letting go of anger and going into unconditional forgiveness so that I could practice unconditional love and be able to always find kisses before saying good night and to remember to bring those kisses with me when I woke up in the morning. Till the next time, this is Milan wishing you amazing relationship success and dating success. Because when you're tuning into the one, you're also tuning into yourself, your new core values, your new core beliefs, and your resolutions to remember how to play the game when it comes down to those things that might be standing in your way. In my case, that was frustration and anger and to instead practice those things that will bring you peace love joy freedom and empowerment how good it feels to be able to be there so until the next time this is milan wishing you amazing dating success and relationship mastery bye for now